Ciao, I'm Chiara from Perfil Segno and welcome back to my channel. In the last lesson we have worked the square version of the corner to corner granny square technique. So today I will show you how to crochet a rectangle with this beautiful and very easy technique. Any corner to corner crochet project we always begin with increase rows. You will increase by one tile per uh, for diagonal row until you desire the dimension are reached. Then you will begin decreasing. If you're making a rectangle, you will increase on one side of the row and decrease on the other side. This keeps the straight side the same length that it was while increasing the length of the other side. When your long side has reached the length that you want it to be, decrease as normal. So first we are going to create a magic ring. Then chain 3. And remember this count as your first double crochet. Then we do four double crochets into the ring. Pull the tail and now we have five double crochets. This is the group, the granny group of three double crochets, then one double crochet at the beginning and one at the end. So now chain three, then turn the work and now we work into this space where we do three double crochets, a group of three double crochets. Then we move into this last space where we do another group of three double crochets then we do another double crochets to complete the second row now we are going to increase again so to increase the first chain three then turn the work then we move into this first space where we do another group a group of three double crochets and now we jump directly into this second space between the group of the previous row where we do another group of three double crochets and of course we move into this last space where we do a group of three double crochet then one double crochet more to complete this row and if you want to change color you must leave two loops on our hook so we do one double crochet incomplete then insert the new color in this way then we do a couple of knot then we are ready to continue to increase as we did before so now chain three remember this count as your first double crochet then turn the work then we do a group of three double crochet into this first space then we jump directly into the second space between the group of the previous row where we do another group of three double crochets and continue to do this until the end of this row And of course we move into this last space here where we do one group of three double crochets and then one double crochet more to complete this row. And now we are going to increase one more time. So first chain three, this count as your first double crochet, then turn the work, then we move here in this first space where we do another group 
of three double crochet of course then we move directly into the next space between the groups of the previous row and continue to do this until we reach the last space And now we work into this last space where we do three double crochets, a group of three double crochets. Then we do one double crochet more to complete this row. So now pay attention because I want to increase the height but not the width to create a rectangle like this and to do this first I suggest to place a marker here because this is the line where we will not increase so first a chain three this is the marker row so I want to decrease so I uh, jump into the second space where we do another group of three double crochets then we move into the space between the group of the previous row where we do another group and continue to do this until we reach the last space And now pay attention because we start with a decrease and at the end we increase so we do a group of three double crochet into the last space then one double crochet more into this last space okay so now where we have a marker we decrease where there isn't the marker we increase so first a chain three then turn the work then we do an increase so we do a group of three double crochets into this first space here then we move directly into each space of the group of the previous row between the group of the previous row where we do another group And now pay attention we have the marker line here so we do only one double crochet into this last space and if you want to change color we um, leave two loops on our hook cut the yarn then insert the new yarn as we did before So remember when you see the marker do not increase uh, so now we start with a decrease so chain three then turn the work then we skip this first space and we jump directly into the second space where we do another group of three double crochets And now into this last space uh, we do three double crochets uh, then one double crochet more uh, 
to create an increase. And all you have to do now is to continue to repeat this until we will reach the desired intellect. So now let's repeat together one more time. So first we are going to increase. So chain three, this is this count as your first double crochet, then turn the work, then we do a group of three double crochets in this first space then we move directly into the space between the group of the previous row where we do another group of three double crochets until we will reach the last space And now we do only one double crochet into this last space. So now when your long side has reached the length that you want it to be, decrease as normal. And now let's uh, repeat together the decreases row. So first chain three. Discount as your first double crochet, then turn the word, then skip the, the first uh, space. Then we move directly into the second space, the space between the group of the previous row where we do another group. Then we jump directly into the next space where we do another group. And do the same into the next space. And now we do only one double crochet into this last space to complete this row. Now chain three, then turn the work, then we skip this first space and we jump directly into the second space where we do another group of three double crochets and continue to do this until we will reach the last space. And now we do one double crochet into this last space. And as you can see, the rectangle is closing. So now chain three, then turn the work, skip this first space and we move directly into the second space as we did before. So do a group of three double crochets between the group of the previous row. And then we do one double crochet into this last space. Chain three once again, then turn the work, skip the first space and move into the second space where we do another group. Then we do one double crochet into this last space. And now let me show you the finished rectangle and now we are ready to cut the yarn and weave the tails inside the work using a tapestry needle. Corner to corner crochet can be used to make a triangle, square or rectangle like this. Those pieces uh, uh, be sewn together to make a countless project. As I said before, you can create uh, large granny squares or rectangles and turn them into anything you want. Garment elements, totes, uh, even entire blanket. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I will leave all the links that you need in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get notifications. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Ciao and tanto love.